this is Killer Instinct from the Unperfected Production Forums, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to encode your movie into X264. Alright, let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is create a folder that says X264, wherever you want, and with this video tutorial I'm going to include some files. There's going to be this bin, which is going to have these three things in it, and then there's going to be this make mp4. Now you don't have to worry about that right now. So the first thing we want to do is let's take our movie. I'm just doing a sample right now. We're going to render as and then let's call it test. And then what I'm going to do is save it in to that x264. And then the but the save type as we're going to save it as a video for windows or a .avi. Now, if you see this little template down here, then you scroll down on the scroll bar and you click Default Template Uncompressed. Now we're going to click this Custom button. After that, you'll see that it says Video Rendering Quality and then it's chosen at best and that's what we want. Now we're going to go into Video. So this all looks good, but let's say I'm just going to change this to 30. Oops. So let's say I'm going to change that to 30. And then that didn't work out for us. But then when I go to audio, I'm going to uncheck this include audio. So there's no audio. So let's go through. And then everything looks all right. OK. So then I'm going to save that as. And this will just render for a little bit. So I'll come back when we're done rendering. So after that is done rendering, you're going to hit the close box. Alright, now we are going to select our footage again, go to File, Render As, but this time under the Save As type, we are going to go to this Wave, and then in parentheses it's going to say Microsoft, and we are going to call it Test.Wave. And then let's go into our Custom and make sure everything looks alright, okay? and then let's save that should go by really quickly I'm gonna close this box and then everything should be okay so I can minimize or do whatever I want alright now this is where the tricky part comes we have these two test clips but now we gotta make them into an mp4 so what we're gonna do is we're going to go into notepad then we're going to open we're going to go to File, and then we're going to find this X264 video, wherever it is. And then where it says Files of Type, you're going to click All Files, and then when you see this Make MP4, you open it up. Alright, so now what we're going to do is you see this Set Path? Well, we're going to change it to wherever we want it to save, and I'm just going to have it saved to this X264 file. But first, we got to set this mo My Movie. And then what we're going to do is set it as what we said before. So let's say the two things were test. I'm going to say test. And then and they both have to be the same. And whatever they're called, you have to put right here exactly as they're said. All right, so let's go down. And you see this my A bit rate. We're going to change that to 192. All right, so that should be good. Let's go to this my V bit rate. We're going to change that to 3,400. So let's change that to 3,400. Then it'll say set my FPS. 30 is good. All right. Now you see where it says this echo, echo crop, and then in parentheses it has a zero. Well, we're going to change that four to a zero. And then where it says this negative four, we're going to change that to a zero as well. And then let's look things over. Make sure they're all right. Okay. Looks good. We're going to hit X. It'll ask us, do we want to save our changes? I'm going to click yes. And then I'm going to hit make mp4. Double click that. And then it'll be encoding right now. And then this will just take a long time. So I'm going to let it go. And then that's about it. So I'll just give you guys this all thing. And then you guys can try it out. If you have any questions, just contact me on the infected protection forums. All right, thanks.